please welcome on stage. Professor Cavallaro is professor, full professor at the School of Engineering and since March 2023, the director of the EDIAP Research Institute in Martigny Valley. Both appointments uh, and his entrepreneurial spirit and expertise uh, contribute strongly to uh, strengthening the ties between EPFL and EDIAP and reinforcing Switzerland's leadership in the field of artificial intelligence. The stage is yours. Thank you very much for this kind introduction. Um, I'm indeed uh, um, a professor uh, here at the School of Engineering uh, at EPFL and uh, also uh, the director of the EDIAP Research Institute. And EPFL and EDIAP Research Institute have got a long history of uh, partnership, but indeed uh, EPFL itself is one of the founding members of EDIAP, which is a, a research uh, foundation. Um, we do have a lot of uh, collaboration, research collaborations, uh, and also at EDIAP uh, we do have uh, 45 PhD students who are enrolled primarily uh, in uh, the engineering uh, uh, doctoral school. Um, we do teach uh, a dozen uh, of courses at EPFL, and so the relationship between EDIAP uh, and EPFL is really strong and is becoming uh, stronger and stronger. But what is EDIAP? EDIAP is a research institute of national importance. It is supported uh, through uh, the uh, Swiss um, Federal Act for the promotion of research and innovation. We get 25% of our funding at the moment uh, through uh, Bern, um, and the other 25% of the subsidies are coming from uh, the Canton Valais, where uh, EDIAP is located. EDIAP is located in uh, Martigny. And the other 50% of the operating budget of EDIAP uh, is coming from competitive projects, uh, as well as uh, uh, projects with industry, like people like, like you. And if you go on the back of the room, you will see a number of uh, outcomes and results uh, of projects we have co-developed with our industrial partners. Um, today is about uh, engineering and uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, EDIAP uh, has been funded uh, in 1991 as a Institut de la Molle d'Intelligence Artificielle Perceptive. So we have been working on artificial intelligence for over 30 years. And this time in work in artificial intelligence allowed EDIAP to create the appropriate structure to conduct research as well as uh, innovation. And in particular, we have a, a very strong research and development uh, team. Uh, the lead of the team is at the EDIA boot. If you'd like uh, to talk to him uh, later on today is Olivier Bournet. Uh, the size of EDIA is medium. Uh, we are 180 employees with uh, 18 research uh, groups. What is the main objective of EDIA? Why does EDIA uh, contribute uh, to the national landscape in, in research. At EDIAP, we do not do uh, blue sky, curiosity driven research. Uh, we do use inspired research for the benefit of society. Uh, what does it mean, use inspired research? We listen to people like you and try to understand what are the most pressing societal challenge uh, to address uh, together. And this co development with our industrial partners allow us uh, to facilitate uh, innovation. And uh, on average, we are licensing uh, our technology once a month to the industry. Uh, we do have the structures to do this. And uh, at the back of the room in the EDIA booth, you can talk with our technology transfer officer, um, Joël Dumoulin, uh, who can uh, talk to you about the process uh, to create technology together with us. Uh, but the use inspired research allows us also to find interesting fundamental problems uh, to solve and the weaving of these fundamental challenges together with the desire to innovate is one of the characteristic features of uh, EDIAP. In terms of numbers, you see here that we produce a good number of uh, research papers in various disciplines of artificial intelligence. Um, we are very active in uh, open science, both in the release of software and in release of data set. We do have a full-time uh, data manager uh, at EDIAP. And uh, uh, you see on the top right uh, the amount of external funding we are receiving. Last year we got uh, uh, to 9 million, and if uh, we continue like this, that 29 million will become uh, 45 million in the next five years. Uh, we have generated 84 licenses uh, in the past five years uh, alone. Uh, 
So what are the areas in which uh, EDIAP is specialized? We have organized our research in uh, four main research programs. The first one is what uh, Professor Sayed mentioned at the beginning, the teaming between humans and uh, AI tools. Uh, the second is about uh, sustainable and resilient society. The third and the fourth are uh, computer scientists and engineers like us teaming up either bi with biologists and uh, clinicians uh, or with social scientists in order for our technology to have a real impact on society. Let's go one by one on these research programs. Uh, and again, uh, at the end of the room, there is the EDIA boot. If you're interested in uh, learning more about our activities, please, please do talk with our innovation manager, Matteo Sorci, who's uh, with us uh, today to explain you uh, how we can collaborate together. So the first research program, Human AI Teaming, is about expanding, amplifying human capabilities. And HEDIAP has a long history of understanding human behaviors through perception. Remember, the name of EDIAP is about perceptual artificial intelligence. Um, we have a strong team in language processing. We do do uh, natural language processing, natural language inf uh, inference, and natural language understanding. And we're very strong in understanding both the verbal and nonverbal communication. Together with that, uh, we have a strong team in biometrics, and again, you will see some demos uh, at the back of the room if uh, you're interested in. As far as uh, sustainable and resilient society, we do work a lot on uh, tackling misinformation, and in particular, deepfake. Uh, you will see some interesting masks uh, at the back of the room in the EDIA boots where uh, you will uh, get a sense of uh, the type of uh, attacks we are perpetrating onto system to understand how robust they are to intrusions. Uh, we work also on uh, energy and on identifying uh, important social trends. We have had uh, projects with the city of Lausanne uh, to tackle uh, uh, harassment in the street, for example. As far as AI for life and AI for everyone is concerned, uh, there are two research uh, programs where uh, we do work with people outside the traditional engineering discipline. And indeed, we had a biologist who decided to come and work with us uh, so she could be embedded in an entire environment uh, specialized in uh, AI. The topics uh, we are covering is the development of novel therapeutic approaches, um, as well as the development of advanced learning and inference paradigms, meaning uh, trying to understand how we can merge uh, expert knowledge with databases together with their interactivity uh, with users so that we can create novel hypotheses in terms of uh, novel drugs or novel experiments uh, to try. And finally, AI, uh, to be useful, to be impactful on society, must be respectful of uh, the principle and values uh, we, we hold dear. And uh, we have been working a lot at EDIAP in uh, computational social science. And uh, uh, now we have recently uh, founded a new uh, center uh, called uh, Center for Participatory uh, AI, where we uh, engage with a specific community of users and we co-develop with them uh, our AI in order for the AI to be meaningful uh, to those uh, community. So again, if you're interested in uh, learning more about our research programs, uh, the booth is behind. Uh, we have uh, a lot of people from EDIAP uh, today uh, available to talk with you. And here you uh, see the 18 uh, principal investigators uh, at EDIAP. From next month, we have uh, a new addition on uh, natural language uh, understanding. And at the bottom of the slide, so you see the two addresses we have. Uh, the uh, address of the institute, adiab.ch, and the address of the laboratory we have here in the School uh, of uh, Engineering at uh, EPFL, lidiab.epfl.ch. So this is for the digital information. I do hope uh, you want also to have a face-to-face -face meeting today with my colleagues uh, at the EDIAB boot, and I uh, do hope that we can create uh, value together. Thank you.